Hello, friends. Welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There's plenty of content to catch up on. And if you're returning, well, friends, you know how I feel about you. Thank you so much for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel. You guys know I love to hang out here with you guys. It's only my hope that you guys also enjoy your time here on the channel. And, you know, maybe you'll hear some messages that can help you in your real life off of the internet. Um, that's always the end goal. And so, friends, let's get to it. Today, we are going to be looking into incoming messages, who's about to reach out and why. We'll also be taking a look into their intentions. So basically getting as much information for you as possible. Friends, please keep in mind, this is a collective reading on YouTube. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. If um, the messaging is confusing, or if I'm picking up energy of someone that you would never want to talk to, or if you're just being triggered by, you know, what I'm saying or my delivery, those are all valid reasons to just realize it may not be your story. <laughs> all right, friends, as always, we have three groups to choose from. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you picked a sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. <laughs> Today, we're going to be looking into, um, yeah, who's about to reach out, incoming messages. So we'll be asking the question, who is this person? Why are they going to be contacting you? And what are their intentions? So yeah, we're just going to be getting to the bottom of things for you, friends. Please keep in mind, this is a collective reading, so only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. If I happen to pick up energy of someone that just does not sound like anyone you'd be interested in hearing from, um, friends, it's, you know, that's probably a sign that it's not your reading. You definitely do not have to claim the story as being your own. My group number ones, let's get to it. Let's see who is this person? Who are you going to be hearing from in the near future? All right. Please keep in mind, um, you know, we're, we're approaching this from kind of an open, open ended, you know, who's going to be reaching out. So it's not specifically to love. But obviously, if those messages come through, then I will be talking about that. Um, for some of you, this could be about work or, yeah, we'll, we'll see what comes through. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number ones. My group number ones, please. Who's my group number ones going to be hearing from soon? Who is this person that's going to be reaching out to my group number ones? Who's my group number ones going to be hearing from soon? Thank you, Spirit incoming messages from my group number ones who is going to be reaching out who is this who is my group number one is going to be hearing from soon who is this that's going to be reaching out who is this this is someone who's taken their time you haven't heard from this person in a while. This is someone that you've like, I'm hearing like you've laughed with. <laughs> it's like you've had a good time with. Um, And I feel like it's been a little while. Maybe you've been kind of expecting to hear from them. They could have been kind of waiting to see if they were going to hear from you. And because it's been so long, for some of you, it's like, I don't know what's long to you guys. Maybe it's three weeks or three months. It's been a little while. Um, So now they're taking action. Some of them, they could be like an out of town friend or someone that's at a distance and they're letting you know that they're coming near you, coming to a town near you, perhaps. Yeah, they might be in your area. Now, some of them, the reason they're coming towards you is because they miss you. It feels like they've been thinking, this is someone who's been thinking about you. And the timing feels right. Like schedule you know what we have going on it's like now is the time they are nervous to come towards you or someone here felt really stuck in their head this is someone who yeah this could be like the type of person that you guys still watch each other's stories or there's been the texts have been few and far between like the communication feels like it's not really it's there but it's not it's like we're keeping tabs, but we're not really. We have the Six of Swords. Why the Three of Wands? For some of you, this is someone who moved away and they're going to come and visit. They're going to come back and visit. Now, 
Now, for others of you, this is um, outside of that, outside of it possibly being someone that's coming from out of town to visit. Um, for some of you, I feel like this person could have been waiting to see if you reached out. I already mentioned that, but this two of wands in reverse is kind of confirming that. Like for a while, they weren't taking, they weren't making a move. They were waiting to see what you did because you're not talking to them or you weren't talking to them. I am getting that there is an issue here with communication. Uh, maybe they feel like they've been initiating conversation or they were waiting for you to initiate conversation, but you're not, you're not talking to them or you haven't come forward. So this is why this person is choosing to kind of close this gap or close this distance. We have nine of swords in reverse. They're tired of worrying about it. So this person's also concerned over the timing that they reach out to you. Um, you either not answering or not being available or it not working out for you. So it's like now that I'm reaching out, like, let's see if group number one picks up or answers or if they're available. So it's, it's different for, you know, everyone's got different circumstances, but yeah, they're in their head about not getting something that they want here. They're nervous about not being able to come towards you again. Maybe it's just kind of like a fear of, we'll see if group number one is available. Why the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune? Why the Ace of Swords in reverse? Thank you, Spirit. Who is this? Is this? They're not sure what you're up to. Yeah, or if you're available or if you even like want to. They're not sure what's going on with you. So reaching out to you with the possibility of you not being available to them is coming through. What else, please? Who is my group number one going to be hearing from? Who is this person? Yeah, this is someone that wants to make a return. Yeah, for some of you, it's reconciliation. They want a new beginning here. Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Cups in reverse, Eight of Cups in reverse. A return, a revisit, a visit. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this is someone that wants to look. Yeah. For some of you, this is romantic. This is someone that wants to connect with you and it's been a while. Uh, maybe for some of you, you've only been texting this person or talking to this person or it's been a while since you have. They've been thinking about you. Devil. Hangman in reverse, Knight of Cups. Yeah, oh yeah, they've been thinking about you. This person's really curious or like interested in what you're up to, what you've been doing. They feel like you've been like investing in yourself or that you're in a really good place. Like um, maybe your work is going really well or you just seem like you're re doing really good in life. Maybe they haven't specifically, you know, you haven't specifically said that to them, but maybe they've seen something that um, online, I'm getting that there's some online situation <laughs> going on, whether that's communication or how they kind of watch you or keep tabs on you. But this person's missing you. Why the six of swords? You could have moved forward. Oh. Only last one. Mm, and this person's kind of been obsessing. It was the Knight of Cups that we lost. Yeah, this person's kind of been um, obsessing about some of you. That's for those of you that this is romantic. It definitely feels like they're set on this, <laughs> on you. <laughs> All right, we have Capricorn. We have um, Taurus and Libra. Um, cancer. I mean, we have all the signs, but those are the majors and then fixed signs coming through as well. All right. Let's continue. Now that we know about who this is, hopefully that gave you guys indicators. Um, let's see why, why are they going to be reaching out? Thank you, spirit. We know they want to reconcile, but let's see what, what, what is it? What's the approach? Why? 
Why do they want to communicate with you? Thank you, Spirit. And what do you need to know about that, my group number ones? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Why does this person, why are they going to be messaging them? Why are they contacting them? What can you tell us? What can my group number ones expect? Why is this person... Some of them aren't sure how you feel about them anymore. So they're kind of testing the waters. Again, there's this feeling, there's a lot of conflict here over this person's been like overthinking things that happen between you or whatever's going on with you during this period of silence. I'm getting that you guys aren't talking this person. It's really gotten to them and they've gotten really in their head for some of you. If this is not romantic, well, even if it is romantic, this person could even be like, is group number one mad at me? Like, what did I do? And they're like thinking over everything, right? Um, there's a lot of silence um, that I am picking up on. Again, like the issue with communication. So they're realizing things different, um, differently. This person is kind of viewing something differently. They might also be realizing that you're never going to be the one that makes the move or you're not going to be the one that comes towards them. Because again, it almost seems like they were waiting. They were like, you know what? Let me give this a little bit of time. Let me give this, um, let me give this a couple weeks or a few days or a couple months. I don't know, whatever's long to you guys. And now this person's like, oh shit, that's not happening. I'm not getting what I want. Why am I not seeing group number one? Why am I not hearing from them? And this person, they were waiting on timing. And when they come towards you, that's when it's like, they feel like it's the right time. They feel like, okay, maybe it's because they've had enough. <laughs> Why the eight of swords? Why the hangman in reverse? Why the knight of swords? So they're wondering, for those of you that this is romantic, they're wondering if you still have feelings for them. So they have all these um, thoughts circling around in their mind of what's going on with you. Um, there's also a feeling here of wanting to respect you and your boundaries. And there could also be something um, higher fit. Someone here could be a teacher or maybe um, someone here has recently like leveled up. Maybe they're a boss or someone who's like leveled, yeah, leveled up in some kind of way. Or maybe there's something here about culture or tradition or this person's beliefs or their morals. And that's what makes them feel stuck about this situation about whether or not they should come towards you. I am going to pull one more on that because it does seem like they have some kind of anxiety or fear regarding that Hierophant energy. That is Taurus energy. Um, some of you could be Tauruses and this person just gets nervous at the thought of coming towards you. Uh, maybe this person also, um, I am picking up that they could have feared commitment. Um, definitely, you know, that energy is present. But um why they're coming towards you is because they're realizing that they, they're not like, they're ready for a new chapter. Like they're not done with like whatever is going on between you guys. Like if anything, they kind of feel like this would have to be the start of a new era of like a brand new era between you guys, or maybe in their life. Maybe um, they had to close out some past cycle or some past pattern. This person feels like even though they might have their issues with maturity or whatever went on between you guys or however they communicate or their issue with communication, um, it does seem like they've learned and it does seem like they're very intuitive. Like this person could struggle when like they could have really struggled or they could still struggle if they don't kind of follow their intuition. Like if they fight against it, it's almost like they're just battling themselves. And it's like, if they just would have gone with the thing that they knew all along, they could have saved themselves and maybe even other people a lot of time and energy. This just feels like it's kind of almost like a personality trait of this person. Um, there's Pisces energy coming through. Mm, let me see what else. So basically this person like can't take it anymore. Like they're like, okay, I'm revisiting this situation or I want to return back to group number ones. I'm, I, they're not like ready to walk away from it. If anything, they want to make a return, but they are nervous about feelings. 
yours, you know, I don't know, maybe even theirs. Why the Three of Swords and the Nine of Cups in reverse? They were disappointed. This person's coming towards you because they're heartbroken or they don't like how things currently are. Yeah, they have this little crush and they're like, what do I do with this? What do I do with my little offer? I, I, we're at my group number one, they're nowhere to be seen. And then over here, they're all conflicted. So what's taken this so long is that this person has wasted a lot of time and energy overthinking instead of just taking action. So your person or this person, I should say, um, they're either slightly younger than you or just a little more immature, even if there isn't an age difference. We have Aquarius coming through. There could be something about happening like right now. Um, you know, I am filming this Pisces season, even though it is a timeless reading, or maybe that's a time of the year, Aquarius slash Pisces, which would be February, March. Maybe that's of significance to this connection. Someone's feeling more hopeful that maybe the timing is good or they've waited long enough to where now things that need to be addressed here between you guys can be addressed. Let's see what is it here that they're afraid of besides commitment. <laughs> Why the eight of swords with the hierophant, please? Thank you, spirit. This person could have also like wasted, I don't know, time on for some other people or just partying or something like that. Uh, this is someone who could have been, if it's romantic, especially they could have been in a past relationship that was toxic or karmic and they're still have some attachment there, maybe some responsibilities um, attached to that, but they're trying to release this devil energy. What else please? That could be why they fear commitment because they have been in a toxic cycle that's, yeah, I'm getting karmic energy. Not necessarily that this person is your karmic, but this is why they're coming towards you. It's, this is an energy that's present in their life. Yes. Okay. So this person was in a relationship in the past that kind of left them with a little like PTSD. You know how that is. Now, the thing is that I think it was very karmic um, and it could have been very toxic, very, very toxic, like the type of toxic that we are before we've had any kind of growth or that first relationship that kind of highlights all the healing that we need to do, right? So that could have happened with this person. Uh, maybe you're also, this person could have children, doesn't have to be. Um, whatever it is, though, it is some kind of trigger around relationships, but this person feels a very strong bond to you, and that's what's bringing them towards you. Um, they feel two, two of cups for you. All right, let's see. What else, please, can we know? Why is this person coming towards my group number ones? They're not coming in with the most confidence. So their approach, I don't know what their approach is. Their approach may not be the, uh, <laughs> the, the most grandest of gestures. They're showing up as a page. They're showing up as the page of wands and the page of cups, which tells me it's going to be a little gesture. They're going to try to be cute and charming. Um, they're not going to be like group number one. I've been thinking about you and I've been thinking very seriously or I've realized some shit that no, it's not going to be like that. You know, uh, you know who you're dealing with. It does feel like they're coming in, um, trying to be fun and flirty and they're putting energy into this. Um, they're, it's almost like they're fighting for this, meaning they're going to, they're going to put the effort in. But this person still got their tendencies. You know, this person doesn't fully trust themselves either. I am getting age difference or just a little bit younger or immature. Anything else, please? Why is this person coming towards my group number one? Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person, they have a really hard time moving forward or moving on. It's also this person doesn't really have a vision for the future or they may not really know what they want for the long term. So they're coming to you with a short term vision. So you have to know that. Um, you could have already put your boundaries down with this person. Maybe you could have told them you don't trust them. Um, I see, I feel like you see their red flags. If this story kind of, um, resonates with you, that's not to say you're not going to entertain it. I just feel like, you know, who you're dealing with. 
All right. This person learns a lot from you as well. So let's see. Um, we are going to take a look at their true intentions. We see why they're coming in, but I want to see, like, what is the truth? What are their true intentions so that you can decide, um, you know, how to move accordingly, my group number ones. <laughs> All right, messages for my group number one, please. What's this person's true intentions? Contacting my group number one. So what's this person's true intentions? And what do my group number ones need to know about this person that's about to be reaching out towards my group number ones? What do they need to know? What is this person's true intentions? Reaching out to my group number ones. What is this person's true intentions? reaching out to my group number ones. Thank you, spirit. What's this person's true intentions? We have the two of cups in reverse. We have the chariot. They want to get on the same page as you, but the thing is like they're insanely attracted to you and they want to come towards you. It's almost like they can't deny themselves this and they want to like close this distance. They want to reveal things. But the thing is, um, they also keep saying like, I just, I, they're not happy with the way that things currently are. It's almost like they need to make contact. They need to reestablish that everything is good here because you're not talking to them. This is what's driving them. Their intentions are coming towards you and they want to figure out how you're feeling. This person feels like you've kind of removed yourself. But they're also showing up as the king of wands in reverse. But in this case, it makes me feel like they do not have very much confidence about what's going on. Why the empress? You make them nervous. Oh, my God. And they want you. Why wouldn't they want you? This person, they know that you're like the best thing. <laughs> but they do want to know what happened or they want to know why you're not happy and they want to fix it. They, they don't want it to be like this. So their intentions are to make something better and close out this cycle. They want a new beginning with you. They feel like you're blocking them or you're not talking to them. And honestly, at the point that you're listening to this reading, it's almost like they're obsessively thinking back to you or the good times or your moments together. Um, that seems like it's very specific. So you will know if that part is to you. But this is someone that doesn't that it feels like you've kind of gone cold you're not talking to them so that's why their intentions so for some of you they want to come in and have some sexual healing if possible um but either way they want to like reignite this with you all right one more on that king of wands in reverse with the queen of cups in reverse yeah they're afraid they feel like um they are low-key afraid and they might not even be showing this. They've been trying to like manifest you again, you reaching out or running into you. Um, remember at the beginning of your reading, I did say it felt like they were waiting for something. Um, it does, you know, that magician. So they're sitting in indecision. I'm telling you, they just waste more time and energy thinking about it rather than just doing something about it. Rather than being about it, about it. Yeah, this person has kind of taken their time. All right, let's see anything else. We have strong Pisces, we have Aries and Cancer, we have air signs, and we have the Empress and strong Libra. All right, my group number ones, let's get some Oracle cards for you guys and we'll do, um, we'll do letters and charms as well. Why not? All right, let's get some messages for you from the 90s Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Incoming messages. Who's about to reach out? What else do my group number ones need to know? Thank you, Spirit. What else do my group number ones need to know? This person could have made you salty, someone salty. We have several salty. Someone's salty as fuck. Someone is salty because you're not talking to them. We have Mr. Salty, Salty AF. We have cheese balls, which are super salty. Those things should have a sodium warning on them. Then we have Don't Ask Me. I'm a ball. You already know anyway. You already know this. It's almost like you, some of you might anticipate this. 
we have, you know, you got the juice, right? It's almost like this person, they cannot say no. They are so attracted and drawn to you. And it's really bothering them that um, you're not giving them your energy or attention. We have money is coming. So someone here um, could make a lot of money. That could also be a side message for you that opportunities are coming your way. You have a lot to offer. You got the juice. Then we have, but I ordered the steak though. Um, this person thought they had something else coming, which I kind of feel like this person thought that, I don't know. I don't know if it's that they weren't going to have to put in the effort or that eventually things would sort themselves out between you guys and they wouldn't have to come towards you. I don't know. It's I'm feeling like they're realizing they're going to have to make the move if they want something to change. We have happiness and pain, as we're saying, if they want something to change. We also have sadness. And we have caution. So you probably know that you have to be cautious with this person. Um, but essentially, this is why they're coming towards you, that happiness. They are not liking the current situation between you guys. This not talking or this you not really giving them, you know, the time of day, perhaps. All right, let's see what we got here. We have, <laughs> we have goth. Someone could be goth. We have Casey. Casey is goth. We have CEX. Makes me think of Tex Texas. We have EJ. We have Hi. That's how someone's going to hit you up. That's also Hawaii. And then we have California, CA. All right my group number ones that's what i have for you today i hope you enjoyed your reading i hope it resonated please take care of yourselves and i'll catch you the next one thanks guys hello my group number twos if you pick the sticker then welcome to your reading friends <laughs> today we're going to be looking into incoming messages who is going to be reaching out to you uh, we're looking into the near future so let's say in the next week to three weeks or so since the time that you watch this reading it is a timeless reading um, and please remember, it is also a collective reading on YouTube. So only take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Um, if it happens to pick up energy of someone you don't want to hear from, I completely get it, friends. My sincere apologies. Um, you definitely do not have to claim that as being your story. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. My group number twos, we're going to be asking the question, who is going to be reaching out? Why are they reaching out? And then we'll be looking into their true intentions, basically getting as much information for you as possible. And let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number twos. My group number twos, please. Who is reaching out to my group number twos? Who is this? Incoming messages for my group number twos. Who is reaching out? Who is going to be reaching out to my group number twos? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number twos. Who is this? Who are they going to be hearing from? Who is going to be reaching out to my group number twos? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number twos. Who are they going to be hearing from? Who is going to be reaching out? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number twos. Who is going to be reaching out? Oh, they've been thinking about it for a while. This is someone you're not currently talking to, and there's been a lot of like indecision, or maybe there was like stalemate energy. I do feel this is someone that you have a lot of fun with, but maybe you're like, you know what? I just do not have the energy to give this right now, or I am done with whatever this is. I don't want it to just be fun, or maybe you just got busy. I don't know. It just feels like it's less of a burden to not deal with this and not possibly um, talk to them. Oh, seven of swords. So something told me to get to look at the top of the deck. And so I pulled it. You could maybe have not trusted this person. And so therefore you're like, you know what? Fuck it. Um, you could have maybe felt like they were messing with other people. Yeah. King of wands in reverse. You think that this is a player, someone that doesn't, um, yeah, that was maybe going to keep you stuck in a, situation you don't want to be stuck with maybe you view this person as a time waster not the time waster all right let's see what else who is this that's going to be reaching out to my group number twos why the two of swords 
Oh, this is someone who's been debating messaging you. I'm talking about, I'm, doo -doo -doo -doo, and then I delete it, right? Like this does feel like they're typing out and then erasing. Or maybe they even think, you know, if it's not that they're actually typing it out, maybe they're just, they think, what would I say? Should I do it? Should I do it? Should I contact them? This person has been, yeah, thinking about it heavy. Why the Three of Cups? Why the Queen of Swords? You know, I kind of feel like maybe you just, you were like, fuck it. I don't want to deal with this. They're not being clear. It's like, um, maybe it's not that you don't trust them, but they also haven't given you a reason to, tr I don't know. It's almost like a, they didn't do anything. They didn't necessarily have to do something shady in order for you to kind of feel this way. It could be their inconsistency or the vibe that they were giving that you were like, I don't even want to mess with it. Um, cause it does seem like you've tried to disconnect or disengage from them. Um, and it feels like I'm purposely not giving this my attention. Why the 10 of wands in reverse? Why the seven of swords? Why the king of wands in reverse? Who is this? And why the seven? You could have felt like this person was giving their attention to other people and that they're just, they're the type that doesn't commit. So I am going to say, um, obviously you guys can reject the story, um, but some of you are going to be hearing from this person. This is someone that even if you don't have history with them, it's not someone you're currently talking to, but I do feel like when they pop in as hot as they are or as attractive as they think they are, or like, you know, maybe you're going to think they're attractive too. Maybe you're already attracted to them. I just kind of feel like that vibe that they give off. You're like, I know your type and I don't necessarily trust this. Now, for others of you that already know who this is, it feels like this person, uh, there's a lot of conflict with them. There's a lot of mixed messages as well. And there is a fear of commitment. Um, and I think that's why you probably disengaged from it. You were like, fuck it. I, I can't, you know, I, I, can't, I can't trust that. I, and maybe part of you is like, I'm avoiding a heartbreak here. I'm avoiding disappointing myself by just letting this go. Yeah, some of you guys chose your own peace, your own happiness. What else, please? Who's going to be reaching out to my group number twos? The Emperor Reverse. The Emperor Reverse. No fucking way. Oh, my God. That really did just happen. You know, Molly, you in danger, girl. That literally is what it feels like. This person is a menace. At least that's how you view them. We are going to look into their true intentions, but you view them as a menace. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Seven of Swords, King of Wands in reverse, Emperor in reverse times two, Ace of Cups in reverse, Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Y'all, this person, huh? I'm going to go ahead and say that if this is someone that you detached from, it hit on their ego and it left them not knowing what to do. This person also has an edge of competitiveness to them. So they have an edge of aggressive, um, they feel like a Mars person. They could be ruled by like a Mars sign, something that's like a little aggressive. Maybe they're like into sports or something where they can like yell <laughs> they can, or just like get it out. If it's not that, it's just, you know, it's, they're a player in more ways than one. So if they, even if they play sports or if they just play the field, they're out there playing something. At least that's how you view them. So I can't wait to see, um, you know, their true intentions. For some of you, this has been a little while. It does feel like this person has waited or has stopped themselves for some time, but it feels like that time is coming to an end. Okay. What in the return of the gremlin, right? Who is this person? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit, for these messages for group number twos. My group number twos, why is this person coming towards my group number twos? What can you tell us? Why is this person coming towards my group number twos? Why are they communicating with them? Why are they going to be reaching out to them? What does my group number twos need to know about why this person is coming towards them? They want to mend something with you or it's, yeah, it's been some kind of burden. They also want to be real with you. They want to share something with you. 
why are they coming towards my group number twos? Why are they reaching out? Why are they reaching out? Why are they coming towards my group number twos? Why are they reaching out? That was the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Why are they reaching out to my group number twos? We have the Six of Wands. We have the Fool. Not for attention, again. For the same thing as last time. Okay, so there, um, this is something else that's coming through. The way they're going to come in is they're going to try to get your attention in the same way that they have in the past. So it's almost like maybe they've already tried to get your attention <laughs> in a way that's worked in the past and maybe you haven't taken the bait because this person, it's almost like they become very obsessive. It's also very lusty. It's very like passion driven. If this person, if you guys have already hooked up, it's like that's something that they cannot get off of their mind. Um, this person wants to charm you. They want to come in and, and get your attention in some way. Look at them riding in on their horse. Oh yeah, look, they're riding in on their horse. So this person wants your attention. They want you to like see them. You know, like what happens when someone's riding by on a horse, you have to look up at them. And that's what that makes me feel. Like they want you to look like, I don't know if it's think highly. I don't know if I just heard someone laugh when I said that. <laughs> um, listen, bitches, this person's riding in on a high horse. I guess that's the gist of that, right? All right, why the full in reverse? Not the high horse. Why the wheel of fortune in reverse? Okay, this isn't the first time that you stopped talking to them. So they're trying to get your attention in the same way. They're trying to manipulate. Yes, they are. Okay, so it almost feels like they're trying to get your attention and you're not falling for it. And this person is trying to like thaw you out or like feel you out because they do feel like you've gone a little cold on them. This isn't the first time, but it does feel like the reason they're coming towards you is to repeat something. It's not necessarily to... Um, have a full on new beginning. We have the full card in reverse two times. They just, they, they, I'm going to say they need to reconnect with you because it feels like they feel it's a need. They're not coming in with, you know, a set plan. They're coming in like they lost patience. They were maybe tired of waiting or maybe it's even like a little impulsive as well. Yeah, here's the message real casual they could even like respond to something that you post it could they could send a message really regarding work or some kind of accomplishment maybe you getting something that you wanted or you doing something work related i don't know it almost seems like it's an excuse that they use to reach out to you and that's not the first time that they take this approach Part of you like tries to ignore this person or maybe like ignore this. And I don't know, like for some of you, I think it's been kind of hard to do that. We have Capricorn energy coming through as well as Aries, strong Aries. We have Pisces and Scorpio. This person wants to bring some kind of ending and like to this cycle. We've been here before. There's been times before where group number two hasn't talked to me or group number two has gone cold. But I'm telling you, I almost feel like they're trying to get your attention and, and you're not going for it full in reverse two times. It's like, I'm not going for it. I'm not taking the bait is what it feels like. Why the devil, please? They're not happy. Yeah. So they're coming towards you because they're just, they're not happy with your lack of response. Maybe you didn't even notice they're trying to get your attention. <laughs> That's the best. So they do want to have some kind of conversation with you. They want to like clear the air. They want to get on your good side or back on your sweet side. They want to sweet talk you. And it makes me feel like they're going to use work or if they know your family or if they've known you for a long time. It's almost like they they have 
they have a key. They have a, they have an in, you know? All right, let's look to see um, what are their true intentions. So now that we know who is reaching out and why they're reaching out, let's see what their true intentions are. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. What's this person's true intentions? Reaching out to my group number twos. What do my group number twos need to know about this person's true intentions? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What do they need to know about this person's true intentions? What do they need to know? Thank you, Spirit, about this person's true intentions coming towards them and messaging them. What do my group number two need to know? This person's true intentions. Thank you, Spirit. This person could have been like flaky or they, they think they know that you're mad at them. They feel like you're upset with them. What's their true intentions? They're not even sure, like, they know that they want to talk to you. They want to get back on your good side, but it's like past that. It's like they have these romantical feelings for you, you know, and it's passion. It's like they, for some of them, they want to hook up with you. They want to get back on your sweet side. They want to get back in your good graces, but they're also not ready to kind of what comes past that. What comes just this initial talking. It's like they know it's not over yet. They know that there's still more between you guys, but they also don't know. Like they can't think past the. They're not coming in with clear intentions They're They can't think past the initial, let's call it reconciliation or reconnecting with you or just, you know, having this exchange with you where you guys share this energy. It's passionate. It's fun, but it also doesn't stick around. It's not consistent. They're unsure, like, you know, what they can bring to the table or if they want to bring, if they want to put how much effort they want to put into this. They're definitely not like dedicated. So it's, you know, it's just for fun, I guess we could say. They're still very closed off. They could be hanging on to something from the past that keeps them from being able to move forward. And they are very conflicted about their feelings for you, especially if that part resonates, if you know that they, um, were in a past situation or that they are a very closed off person. It's like they're, it's almost like they try to reject love or they try to reject emotions and then they wonder why their life feels the way it does or why they end up getting obsessive or stuck on certain people or situations. And it's just because they're trying so hard to like push these feelings away. So they're definitely an overthinker. They definitely are super uh, attracted to you. Um, and like I said, they definitely wouldn't mind hooking up with you if that is possible or has happened in the past or just to have a conversation with you. They know that they miss you, but they're also, they're not looking past that. You know, it's not like this person's like, damn, I miss group two. It's like, no, I need to talk to group two. I'm, I'm wanting, I'm wanting their energy. I'm wanting to know what's going on. I want to reconnect. Whatever you guys have done in the past, they want to do that again. So we'll just leave that at that. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse and why the world in reverse. This person is, I feel like they're leveling up in some way and they're closing out some past cycles. They're not quite ready for love or a relationship, but this is all kind of part of their process. You might even be part of their awakening to some degree. Or when I mean awakening, it's like maybe you're a part of them realizing that emotions and love, like they can feel this way towards someone. And that's something that they, I feel like they've been rejecting it or they've been overthinking, or maybe they're not even like realizing that this is how they feel about you. The lovers in reverse, the three of cups in reverse, it's almost like they're choosing other things. And by doing so, it keeps them in this five of swords, very conflicted, very thinking things over. Maybe this person's also like grass is greener on the other side, or they're always just kind of uh, maybe they've been used to cheap thrills, quick thrills, right? Um, but it just doesn't feel like they're ready. They're walking away from maybe a past relationship or beliefs about relationships. So it kind of feels like they have a little ways to go. Um, but I would say that their intentions are to reconnect with you. And laugh with you, catch up, 
do whatever, like I said, whatever you guys have done. Um, but past that, they don't really have any other, it's not like they're like, I'm ready to, you know, make plans with group number three and move forward with them or anything like that. They're not ready for all that. So maybe a fun little conversation, a little catching up or a little flirty text back and forth, something like that. But you're not talking to them, so you definitely may not be down for that. And <laughs> they know that. Let's get some, oh, let's get some Oracle cards for you, my group number twos. And then um, what are we doing today? We'll do charms. No, we'll do letters. Yeah, we're doing letters today, not charms. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number twos, please. Who is reaching out to them and what do they need to know? What else can we know about this person that's reaching out to my group number twos? I don't think you believe this person. Um, or maybe you have a hard time believing them. Sure, Jan, old maid. Maybe you feel like you've wasted enough time thinking or like, you know, or with people like this, maybe this person reminds you of someone, like I said, it doesn't have to be someone that you've already had an experience with, but it does feel like there's recognition of something that might be repeating. We have cry ba baby extra sour. You kind of did it to yourself, bud. So you kind of feel like this person, you iced them out because, well, they kind of did it to themselves. They didn't give you another option. We have password journal, keep it secret, keep it safe. This could have been a connection that was secret or not a lot of people knew about. Um, this person could also secretly kind of keep tabs on you. If possible, you'll know if that's for you. And we have let them keep sleeping on you. So let them keep sleeping on you and keep it secret. Makes me think like we're keeping it in the dark. Then we have incoming messages, AOL instant messenger. So yeah, messages coming in. That's just confirming what we're looking into. Then we have, but I ordered the steak though. This person thought, maybe they thought that this connection or what they felt for you was something else and they're sleeping on their own feelings. And then we have penicillin, accept the truth no matter how bitter. So this person did it to themselves. They could be realizing that as well. You are not the one, my group number two is, you're not the one. This person, they played themselves, didn't they? All right, let's see what we have here. We have H A, oh, we have half, miss, miss half, and we have up, Kai, K Y, and Q. All right, let's see. Let's pull some of these. Yeah, I think I pulled these for group number ones. <laughs> I'd be forgetting, guys. She's just channeling into the ethers. Let's see. Disruption makes me feel like it's unexpected, like out of nowhere, this person. Like this reminds me of Eight of Wands energy too. Like out of nowhere, you get this message um, when you were least expecting it. Then we have trust and intuition. You could have been, you could be feeling that this person's about to reach out. You could be seeing signs or just kind of you have this feeling or you're just, I have a feeling I'm going to be hearing from them. I haven't heard from the end of that. Or maybe you have and, you know, maybe some of you have chosen to block them or this is just confirming what you already know about the situation. Okay, my group number two is that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. <laughs> Today, we're going to be looking into incoming messages. Who is reaching out? So we are looking into the near future. So let's say the next week to three weeks from whenever you watch this reading. It is a timeless reading. It is also a collective reading on YouTube. So please remember that. If I happen to pull energy of someone you don't want to know anything about, you're done. My sincere apologies. It does happen sometimes, but that's just an indicator and a reminder that it's not your story anymore. Same Z's, if something is confusing you or triggering you, or if you just don't like my delivery, those are all just indicators that it's not your story, friends. And it happens. It's cool.
All right, let's get to it. My group number threes. We are going to begin by asking the question, who is going to be reaching out to you? Why? And what are their true intentions? We're just going to be getting as much information for you as possible. We will be pulling Oracle cards at the end um, and yeah, and initials. So let's get to it. My group number threes. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes. My group number threes, please, Spirit. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. Someone's doing good at work or holding it down. Someone could be a business owner or a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Maybe some of you are going to be hearing from your mother or from a boss. <laughs> That's a side note. That's not the main attraction. <laughs> Messages for my group number threes. Who is going to be reaching out? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Who is going to be reaching out? What can you tell us? Messages for my group number threes, please. Who's going to be reaching out? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. Who's going to be reaching out? Oh, someone wants it. Oh, yeah. Someone's messaging you. And you know what I think, friends? I think that this comes in late. Late. Whether that's a late hour. I'm getting 11th hour. So it's almost like when you least expect it. Um, and the reason I feel that. King of Wands. Yeah, someone's coming for you. The reason I feel that is look at our little candle. Look how low the flame is. It's about to go out. So I'm going to relight it soon. For some of you, this is, okay, this is like entrepreneur. This is someone who has their own business, so it could be a job opportunity for some of you. The candle just went out. For others of you, this is just someone that wants you. This is someone that wants you, regardless if it's an entrepreneur, a boss, or a job, or a lover. This is someone that they, they want you. They want you. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Group number three is... Let's get you guys a new little candle. I have my little trash can up there. So you guys see me doing that. Okay, let's see this King of Wands, King of Coins. They're going to be communicating with you. There's been some kind of struggle here, that Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Someone hasn't been free. We have Four of Cups. Oh, no, Six of Cups in reverse. Some of you have history with this person. Or someone here could be a parent. This could be a parent. Yeah, they could be a single parent. Maybe that's that nine of pentacles in reverse. We have page of coins. For some of you, um, yeah, they're, they're going to be. Okay, so I have to approach it for those of you that this is work. It does feel like it's a job opportunity. Doing something that's right in your field. Something that's great and new. Um, it does feel like it's coming. And I will say it feels like it pays better. Again, that feels like it's a side story. You guys have <laughs> you guys have side stories going on. Um, it's almost it's not the main attraction, um, but for some of you, it very well could be. Um, and I will say, I like it because you're making more money. Now, for others of you, this feels like someone that wants reconciliation with you, or they want a new beginning with you. Whether or not you guys have history with this person, I do believe some of you do have history here. Um, but not everyone has to, but it feels like they want a new beginning here. This is someone that you haven't heard from, or you guys haven't been talking, or you haven't really been, you don't, maybe we don't really know what's going on with them. I feel like you do have a level of awareness of who this person is. It doesn't feel like it's a stranger, but it does feel like someone, um, it does feel like you're very attracted to them. Obviously, talking to those of you, this is romantical. I mean, even if it's your boss, right? Your boss could totally be a babe. Um, they, they look hot. Whoever this is, they're very attractive. But this is also someone that you either don't see coming um, or you don't know what they're up to. It's almost like, they, I feel like this is also someone that gets a lot of attention. Um, so maybe, maybe that's why you don't really see this coming your way. By the king of coins we have ace of swords they're coming in with some kind of knowledge or information some kind of news they're coming in to tell you about it this person they're revealing something to you it does feel like they're being vulnerable and they're being truthful about you and what they want with you or yeah 
that I feel like they're revealing something to you when it comes to whatever your guys, the situation is, you know, for some, it is work. So obviously they're revealing to you like, Hey, you're the one you got the job or this is what I see you doing. And it's an opportunity, you know, but for others of you, if this is someone who's interested in you or a lover that you've had at one point or someone that you've been interested in, because it does feel like this person. Okay. So this person's kind of flashy. They look really good. So this makes me think that they either have something like their clothes, like, what is that? Like quiet luxury, like the type that, you know, it may just look like they're wearing a t-shirt and sweatpants. But what you don't know is that that's a limited edition vintage t-shirt. Um, and then the sweatpants are like essentials and they're like $200 sweatpants, like something like that. I'm not saying for all of them, but for some of you, there's definitely the vibe of this person. If you know, you know. Um, whatever it is that they're into. It could even be that they collect certain things or maybe they're a watch person or they're someone who just likes some form of luxury and it, it is a little flashy. You can tell that this person, um, they like to spend money. They make money, but they also like to spend money um, and they like their things. They like their material things. All right. So, um, this person in the past, there was either mixed signals or there's something here. Um, yeah, I, I feel like it was either mixed signals or confusion or, um, this person could have been confused and they might be honest about that magician. So they're making this happen. This person four of wands. Okay. So this person is definitely, they're the ones taking initiative. And I don't think you see it coming because I don't think that you are paying either much attention or this isn't your main focus at this time. So this person could be an earth sign, a fire sign, um, especially Leo. I'm not really leaning heavy on that they are one of their signs. I think these are all almost like character traits or like <laughs> character <laughs> um, or just um, personality traits perhaps. So they could show up as, you know, if, if they run a company, um, I do think they work for themselves or they tell other people what to do, or they're just like in charge of things. Um, and I think they're really good at it. All right. Thank you, spirit. This is like well known about this person. Who is this, please? This is someone who's very passionate and very, very like, um, yeah, I feel like it's passionate. We have the eight of pentacles and the devil. This person's very hard worker. Um, very, very hard worker. Maybe a little bit even of a workaholic or they just, you ask them how they're doing and they're like, oh, I just got off work or I was just getting some work done. You're like, I thought this was your day off. And they're like, yeah, but you know, I wasn't doing anything anyway. So I just got through some emails, like something like that. This person's also like a little obsessive meaning what they're passionate about, they're like super passionate about. That could even like translate into their sexual energy as well. But more than anything, I think this person loves work and money and material things and the safety that those things bring. Um, yeah, it's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, they're serious about that and they dedicate themselves to it. This person also loves hard. Um, but that's a whole other story because it feels like that's a hard shell to crack. <laughs> um, they love what they do as well. So that's why they're very passionate about it. This is someone who loves their career or loves what they do for a living. This isn't someone who's like miserable about what, how they make money. You know, sometimes we end up at jobs that we hate, but they pay well and it is what it is. But this person doesn't seem that way. All right. What else, please? So they're coming in for some love, for some reconciliation with you. And what else? Yeah, Empress. They're coming in for you. I'm surprised they haven't shown up as the Emperor. There, so there could be a slight age difference. Doesn't have to be. But maybe this person, they, um, they think very highly of you. All right. Thank you, Spirit. We also have Gemini energy with those lovers that showed up. That true love card. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Why is this person, why are they reaching out? Why are they reaching out to my group number threes? What can you tell us? Messages for my group number threes, please. Why is this person reaching out? 
Why is this person reaching out to them? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number threes, please. Why is this person reaching out? You keep showing up as the Empress. So here's the thing. Um, I feel like this person has either been denying or going to... I don't want to say pretend that they're not reaching out, but it's almost like when they do, it might be subtle or it might be kind of just testing the waters. It might start off small before they actually like come in with conversation. So this person feels very stuck and nervous and in their head about whatever. I think you make them nervous. They view you as the empress. So no wonder you make them nervous. <laughs> We have the nine of wands. They've been feeling about this for a long time and they're about to give in. This person has been carrying this energy with you or for you for a little while is what it feels like. They're ready to come together. Oh, this person has a, this person has something about their self-worth. Or maybe they were working on their finances. This is someone that had that maybe went through some kind of hardship and had to um, recover. Yeah, they're they had to. It's almost like they they're coming in because it's like now they're feeling better. They're feeling more confident and they are feeling like more successful. In the past, they feel like they had to pass up on this opportunity or not able to take it, things weren't right, maybe the timing or their work. And now they feel like they're in a better place. This person feels like they had to feel better about themselves or maybe they had to reach a certain level of success. Why are they coming towards my group number threes? Why is this person coming towards my group number threes? Oh, they're not positive about how you're going to receive them. That's why they're nervous and in their head. Um, you might be a little like older, more mature than them because they don't view themselves at your same level. But at the same time, it's like they know that this is, they're ready to move past this. It's like they're ready to kind of move forward. Look, and as I say that, the chariot, it's like they're taking control of their life as well. They're starting to kind of view things differently. Um, we have the hangman in reverse, also coming back together or being able to approach you now that I can, is what I heard. Why the ace of coins? This person has reached like a level of either success or recognition, or they, if it's not that, it's that this person sees the perfect opportunity to come towards you and they know that now they got to do it. This is my moment. This is, this is what I've been waiting for is what it feels like. Cause I think they've been waiting for a while or they've been wanting to do this for a while and they, for some reason, haven't been able to, or just didn't have the courage to something like that. We're getting, um, earth signs and strong Aquarius energy. Why the three of coins? Why are they coming towards? Cause you're not talking to them. So they're closing distance. You're not coming towards them. So they're coming towards you. They also want to like solidify something here. There's been kind of a long wait or a long like kind of time in between where there was a lot of stress and maybe this person was a little avoidant. Maybe they were avoiding talking to you or having contact with you. And so this person is ready to kind of take charge and move this forward. They're tired of feeling this way. What else, please? Why is this person going to be reaching out the emperor they feel better about themselves yeah they went through something and they're coming in and they're like now i'm ready that's what they could be revealing to you as well this person went through a lot during the time that maybe you guys were in disconnect or something like that so they definitely want to come in and share some good news with you, but also maybe fill you in on some hardships as well. But they want to come in and make you an offer or level up your relationship or your connection. There could also be like a reason to celebrate as well. If it's not you guys reuniting, this is this could be them offering you that position that you've been wanting and you you don't see it coming. 
Um, and maybe, you know, things had to be more stable before that could happen. For those of you that it's a lover, same thing. Maybe when they wanted to come towards you, they couldn't because they were having some kind of hardship outside of their love life or their romantic life, you know, um, that didn't necessarily have anything to do with you, but they had to get through that. And now it's like, they're feeling confident again. This also feels the energy of someone that like finally feels in control of their life again. Maybe they even like started working out again, or just, they feel better. They feel more confident. All right. Let's see what this person's true intentions are towards you. My group number three, since they're going to be reaching out, let's see what their true intentions are. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. What's this person's true intentions? What are their true intentions? Reaching out to my group number threes. What's this person's true intentions? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. What's this person's true intentions? Coming towards and reaching out to my group number threes. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. What's this person's true intentions? What are their true intentions? Thank you, Spirit. We have um, that. Oh, we have the moon. Yeah, they wanna. They have. They feel like they've been keeping something from you. Or there's something like hidden. Let's see what this is. What are their true intentions? We have the four of cups in reverse. We have the magician. They want to make magic happen with you. Literally, that's just what I got. That's sweating. They want to make something happen with you. We have the eight of coins. This is something that in the past couldn't happen or there was an effort being put into it. Yeah, there was something here that had to overcome. But um, they're wondering they're they're fearful they're there and especially those of you that this is romantic not if it's a boss you know they're not going to be afraid of you um i mean i hate to say it but you know uh i mean they might anyway getting away from that uh, going back to you guys with, for those of you that this is romantic this person is low-key nervous that you're gonna either not want this or reject this or that they took too long or that now they don't even know where you stand. It's like there is some kind of fear here over you and what's going on with you and if you're even going to be open to this. Why the moon card? So they feel they're afraid to kind of reveal this to you, their desires for you or yeah, if it's if it's romanticals, it's definitely your their desires for you. Cause it's like, there's something here that's been hidden, but they view you as like being counterparts, King and Queen of Pentacles. You guys are very similar. Then we have Gemini. They feel like you guys could be really good together. And it's like, maybe you guys have been ignoring how well you go together. They have, you have. Why the magician? They haven't been up front. This is something that they haven't like completely shared with you they have regrets and guilt over maybe how things were handled in the past or not being able to give to this in the past they haven't really been open with you about what's been going on but that makes sense you know if you guys haven't talked in a while this person is trying to work up the courage to like come towards you and like be honest or like make up for something, make up for the past or it's like they want to step up. So depending on what your connection is, their intentions are to come in as this emperor, as this king of cups or, oh, that's interesting. I said king of cups, king of pentacles and offer you something. But let me see why there's this regret and the seven of swords. Why the magician with the seven of swords? The high priestess, because they haven't revealed this to you. Because this person keeps secrets or they just are secretive. I don't know. Maybe they're hiding this connection. Maybe this is a hidden connection. Because the three of cups, why is there secrecy around reconnecting? They're also keeping their intentions very close to them where they are not wanting to tell us right now. King of swords in reverse and the empress. 
they haven't told you how they feel about you. They don't want you finding out in this reading is almost what it feels like. They're keeping this very secretive. They view you as the empress and it's like, a, and look, they view themselves as the emperor. They can't even handle it. They low key have fear of rejection, but they also have fear that you don't feel the same way as they do. They also feel like, what if you don't even think about them anymore? Remember them? Or what if, you know, you're not interested? Why the Eight of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Cups? That one balanced on my hand. The Eight of Swords in reverse. So they were feeling stuck. This is, they felt stuck in a situation in the past and they couldn't put effort into this. They had to, they were really stressed out or there was some kind of ending. Maybe this is why you pulled back because you didn't want to feel stuck anymore. I don't know. Someone like pulled back their energy and it caused sadness and like an ending. And that's what, okay. So this person could be hiding the fact that they're trying to manifest a reunion with you. That's also what this is, especially if you did pull away and this person, they had to work on themselves and they had to feel better about themselves. This is the type of person that has to feel good about where they're at in life before it's like they feel like they have something to offer you. This person has a very like maybe rigid or maybe very kind of their own way of viewing relationships, two of cups, um, where it's like they need to be financially stable or bring something to the table. This is someone who's very masculine. So it's almost like there's certain things that they want to have in line, especially when it comes to you. It's almost like they don't want to fumble. Maybe they already did. I don't know, but we have two of cups. This person wants something deep with you and they have not told you that they have not. This person keeps things very well hidden. They might have like a deep Scorpio placement. Why the moon card and the ace of wands, please. What's all this secrecy <laughs> temperance? Cause they have been patient and taking their time. They could also mask this as a friendship. Um, for others of you, you know, that's that job opportunity coming through. I am getting that for some, it, it is some kind of opportunity in that way, but the group is pretty split. Cause there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, like life partnership coming through. <laughs> you guys are maybe yin yang energy or, um, yeah, it just feels like counterpart energies in many ways. You guys could both be parents um, you know, similar industries, something like that, similar family experiences. Um, maybe you guys even had similar, some of you are even like, both of you are divorced or broken up from long-term relationships. So you guys have maybe both experienced karmic energies and, um, all kinds of stuff that I feel you guys connect with, with this person. All right. So their true intentions are, they want to come in and connect with you. Um, yeah, they've been hiding their emotions or their intentions from you, but it feels like they're going to be revealing them soon. And it feels like it's all kind of surrounded with that earth energy. So it feels, it feels truthful, you know, use your own discernment, but it also feels like someone here wants something solid to offer you, um, something tangible, some plan or some, I don't know money. I don't know <laughs> if it's a job guys, if it's a job. All right, let's get some Oracle cards for you guys. We'll do oracles and then we'll do letters. Thank you, spirit messages from my group number threes, please. What else can we know about this person that's reaching out to my group number threes? Thank you, spirit. What else can we know about this person that's reaching out to my group number threes? Oh, look at there's a countdown. It says a sweet surprise in three, two, one. So any day now, any day, one to three weeks, you're going to be hearing from this person um, or getting some kind of, I don't know, sign indicator. I don't know. So you're going to hear something. All right. We have sweet surprise coming in three, two, one. Then we have like a dog with a bone. Um, maybe this person is like a dog with a bone. Very loyal is what I'm getting or committed, committed to their work things that they care about, their family, um, and they want to extend that to you in some way. We have expect a message, another confirmation that they're going to be reaching out to you. We have, you have hella options, like hella, someone here 
They know you're highly sought after and that you have a lot of options. So they want to make sure that their offer is solid. We have ho ho hoes. There's the twerking little lady in the corner. Someone could be a ho ho ho. Um, you know, no judgments here. This person might like your booty too. We'll just leave that there. Um, especially, yeah, there's definitely attraction going on. Then we have answer the call coming from spirit. So it's, this is total, you know, tarot is free will. Um, and it's definitely up to you if you decide to answer the call. Um, but I definitely think there's more indicators that you will be getting signs um, about this person. And then we have, um, I don't, which show is this from? I mean, I know it's like a popular show, but I guess I should know. Anyway, maybe someone's afraid to look like a clown. There's also emojis. Maybe this person just pops in and reacts to a story or a photo and they don't really say much. And that's that little, that little bit that's coming in before the actual communication. I do feel they're going to be kind of testing the waters to some degree. So that would be interesting if it was through, like, for those of you that post to your stories and they just react to them or like it or something. All right. So there's that rejection. Um, you know, you might be rejecting this person. We're going to put that there with answer the call. Um, it is in reverse. That's funny. I don't read them in reverse, but that could just be the fear that this person is having. Then we have movement. We have cleanse, success, and growth. So someone here has grown um, and they also want to have growth with you. Um, this person seems like they want to share their success with you to some degree or they want to be successful here. They've also worked at clearing out some past energies or some past situations with that cleanse card. I think so of you. And that movement card makes me think that eight of wands, I feel like communication is going to be coming in quickly. Um, let's put rejection up here. All right, let's see what we got here. We have a couple of M's. We have two M's, so repeat letters, your name, their name, first name, last name. We have FX. Someone might like to watch FX. Then we have Kai. Which one of you has been watching all three groups and has the connection to KY? Hi. <laughs> we have Q and U. Someone thinks you're cute. QT. We have MG. Another F. FB. Facebook. Then we have FH. Phone. That makes me think of phone number. Phone. Maybe someone's going to be contacting you through Facebook. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Can they, they can talk to you on Facebook, right? I don't know. I'm not on Facebook guys. Um, anyway, that's what I have for you today. My group number threes. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys.